Hi guys, with 2019 coming to a close, I spent a little while thinking about what would be the best type of video to end the year with, and I thought it'd be fun to share my K-pop collection so far. Mind you, it's not very big. I only started actively collecting a few months back, and I only really got newer albums. I'm gonna start working on a lot of the older albums in 2020. That's one of my resolutions of 2020. I know that's not really a resolution, but there are a couple of albums that I need in my life and I am going to get them. Somehow, some way, it's going to happen. I will talk about the ones I'm looking for later on in the video. But to get things started, one of the first albums I got this year was Beckyun's City Lights album. Now, the thing that got me into K-pop is Beckyun. I watched him in Moon Lover's Scarlet Heart Rio and I needed to see more of this guy, and I'm head over heels for him. He is amazing. And this album, if you want to get any solo album right now, this is the one that you need to get. If you haven't gotten it yet, get it. It's beautiful. I listen to this album on repeat constantly. It's... It's so beautiful. I'm not going to show the entire album because that's not what this video is, but I will show you what I got in my album. So this is the picture book, photo book. Oh, and then we have the lyric book, which is, I'm so happy with the version I got. These ads always fall in, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. Now, in my version, we have this gorgeous poster of Beckyun, which I haven't put up yet, but I will. It's not gonna fit. <laughs> I love it though. And along with that, I got this amazing photo card. Please focus, maybe, maybe you see it. Now, I'm going to try to not get this all mixed up during this video. The only thing about this album is it's hard to repack. I love it. I love how it looks. It's just very difficult to put the album back in this sleeve. I don't like to throw things away. So, all right, there's that album. The next album we have is Beckyun's version of the Super M album. I haven't gotten the United version yet. And the reason I chose the Beckyun version from the start was because I didn't know what photo card I was going to get. So I wanted to get something Beckyun more than just a couple of photos in the United version. So I got the Beckyun album. And inside we have... Seven. I really love this. This is a mini poster of Beckyun. I, I I want more mini posters because it's easier to find places to put them. But the best part about this album, I was blown away, is I opened it up fully expecting to get another member, but lo and behold, I got Beckyun. The one card I wanted and I got it. And here is the back. Here's a closer view of the front. I am not sure if it's focusing. I apologize if it's not. Now, the next album I'm gonna show was, well, everything that I'm showing you now, they were Christmas presents. My sister messaged me, said, what do you want for Christmas? Now, this is not a K-pop album. It is a China pop album. And you will understand why now. I got Take Over the Moon by Wavy. I mean, you've seen my takeoff reaction, I hope. I hope you've seen it by now. It's, I mean, it's down. I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you wanna watch it, I mean. But yeah, I am a huge fan of Wavy. Now, when I got this album, I was a little disappointed because I didn't, I got one card I wanted and one card I didn't really want. Well, it just wasn't the card I wanted. Now. First off, we have the circle card, and I got 10, which I'm very happy about. And originally, I got Hendry's card. I love Hendry. I have nothing against Hendry, but I wanted Yang Yang. And the reason I waited until today to film this is because in the mail today, I had a trade come in. I traded Hendry 
for Yang Yang. Look at his card. He is so adorable. I love it. And along with this album, I don't know how I'm going to show this, but I really need to show you this because it is huge. There is an enormous poster that it's just... It's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see if I can somehow show this to all of you. It's so big, you guys. If you want a huge poster, buy the Take Over the Moon album. You'll get what you want. Um, I hope I don't mess this up. Then here, is it? Is it there? We'll just cover up me for a second. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Huh. All right. Now. I'm struggling, apparently. I have no idea. How does this fold? I'm not a huge fan of folded posters, but I am tolerating it because this is wavy. I'm gonna probably have to get it. I wanna get, I like to frame posters now. Am, am I weird for liking to frame posters? Because I don't know. I like framing them. Let me get this closed up and then I will show you my final three albums of the year. All right, moving on. We have EXO's Obsession, the Obsession version. My version came in a little damaged, but I don't know. I'll probably end up getting another version later on. I really, really like how this version is. I'm a bit disappointed with the posters I got. I'm probably gonna be trading these. So, yeah. Now, one thing I'm very happy about, my pulls in this album, we have the Baekhyun postcard. These are all random, so you don't know what you're getting. And I got, I got this Chanyeol card. It is so cute, you guys. Look at that. He's adorable. Baekhyun is my bias, but I find myself not wanting to trade any of my cards really anymore and just getting one of each member for this album because this concept is fantastic. I am obsessed with it and I just want all the things. It's pretty bad. So yeah, here are the posters I got though. I got <laughs> this mini poster of Sehun. Looks so good right here. I actually might keep this one I really like this photo of him. It's awesome. The other one I'm gonna try to trade for Beckins because I didn't get him. And this is the that's this is the main poster I wanted the Beckin version for. And for some reason, Sehun was all up in my business in the obsession version. I don't know. I think I think we need to have a conversation. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I got Sehun. He looks awesome, but I want the Beckin version of this poster. So I will probably be putting this up on Twitter or something for trade. And I apparently, I didn't realize this, but the mini posters, I think they were just in the initial printing of these albums because one of my friends said that she didn't get a mini poster. Now, I don't know about the Obsession version, but in the XO and XXO versions of the Obsession album, my friend didn't get a mini poster, so I'm kind of wondering about that. I don't know. Um, where am I? How does this go in? <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. I, okay. This is a little difficult to put back in here. I do like that you get one photo book for each concept. We got the XO and XXO version books in here. I'm not going through all that right now because that's not what this video is about. And let's see if I can, where did I put my channel card? <laughs> I'm freaking out because I don't know where I put, where did you go, dude? I put him back in here with my back end postcard, as it should be, with his bestie. Okay, no, but you need to go back in my binder in a minute. So, I'm gonna put this back in here, or try to, once again. It's a struggle, but such is life. All right, moving on, we have the 
I think that I'm trying to remember. This is the XXO version, right? You can like hit me if I'm wrong. Yes. This is the XXO version. Now, this, another reason I waited to film this video today is because I purchased an extra photo slide because I needed to. Now, the one that came in my version, I got, let me see if it shows up. I got Chaniel. Is it showing up? It's really cool. These are so neat. And the one I purchased, which came in the mail today, is Beckian. These are so neat. I'm not sure how I'm going to put them in my binder quite yet, but I will figure it out. Now, in this version, you get photo books for every member. And now I'm going to show you my posters because they're pretty cool. For the mini poster, I just realized something. I didn't show you the photo card I got with this album. Before I show you the poster, I will show you the photo card. I got Chen and I was originally going to trade this, but I think I'm going to hang on to this. And I'm actually going to be getting the Obsession version of XXO Beckian very soon. That photo card is coming gifted to me by a friend. I'm so excited because I'll just say it now. I didn't pull any Beckian photo cards. I was very disappointed. And so that happened. Now, for my posters, I have the mini poster of Chen, and I have, I opened this up Christmas morning, and I was not okay when I opened up this poster. This poster's not going anywhere, because lo and behold, Suho decided to grace me with his presence. This comeback, he, I think he owns this entire comeback. It was meant for him. As much as I love how all the other members and my bias look in this comeback, Suho, Suho. I mean, do I need to say more? Suho, yep. Okay, let me put this up and I'm saving the bigger items for last because I have a couple items that I still can't believe I got. Two very big items that I'm still just not okay about. All right, now for the EXO version right here, I got I did pull something Beckian besides that postcard. I got Beckian's photo slide for EXO, so that is also why I bought the XXO version. I wanted the matching ones. Let's be honest, I was going to buy both of them if I didn't get them regardless. We know that's a thing. And we have the posters. Now for the mini poster, I got Chen, and I I think this is my favorite look of his in this album. I love his hair right here. It looks so good. And I'm going to hang on to this Chen poster, but the other one I will probably put up for trade somewhere. And this poster isn't going anywhere right here. I'm glad my big posters are ones that I really want. We got... My understudy bias, Kai. He looks really great in this comeback. They all do. I can't get over this album. It's, it's just so amazing. Now I almost forgot it's sitting off to the side. Poor thing. The photo card. <laughs> the photo card I pulled for the EXO version of the Obsession album is Sehun. There's the back. I don't know what's going on here, but 
I pulled a lot of Chen and Sehun in these albums for some reason. I would have liked to have pulled at least one Baekhyun photo card and poster. Sadly, I didn't, but I can always go onto Twitter or Instagram or eBay or something and find them. I'm going to get them. For the last photo card I have, this is the Artist and Flow card, which came, let me get this, with my Arabong, which I purchased before going to the Super M concert. I got Sehun. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, he's really uh, messing with me this year. I'm probably going to try to trade this for a Baekhyun somehow, hopefully. And we all know what the Arabong looks like, so I don't need to take this out of the box. I don't think I do. Moving on to the last two items I'm going to share are very, very special to me. I did not think I was going to get them. I missed out on the flash sale of these back in October, so I had to find individual sellers that bought more than one of these, and somehow it all worked out. We have my signed Super M posters, the first one that I got, and he actually arrived on Christmas Eve. We have Beckian, and these are actually signed. I'm not sure if this is focusing and showing it. For some reason, Beckian decided to sign, like, right here, and partially on this black shirt. But yeah, and we have the SM sticker right here. He looks so good right here. And the other one I got, he didn't come in great condition. I'm still a bit sad about it, but we have Kai. Now he is a bit bent over here and the autograph was kind of scratched up and rubbed off a bit. I think it wasn't dry and it got stacked or something, but I've got Kai and Beckian, so I've got two EXO autographs. I can't believe that happened. And, oh, here is the SM sticker on the back. It's probably not focusing. That happens. I, I, I just... I think that about covers everything. I didn't share my merch that I got last month at the Super M concert because I do have a video with that down below. I will link that as well in my Super M concert footage. I have the haul at the end of the video. I don't know if anybody watched it. It's just kind of there. I impulse bought a few things that... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I didn't end up buying the Super M light stick, and I'm glad that I didn't because, honestly, during that concert, there were several people holding multiple light sticks. But while I was watching the concert and all of that, I thought to myself, it's a good thing I didn't buy that light stick because holding your camera, getting footage, and holding two light sticks, how's that going to work? I've only got two hands, so. Yeah, I might eventually get the Super M light stick, but I don't know when I'll get to use my Arabong again if EXO will come back to the States, so I had to use this at that concert. That's how it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see more hauls in the future, I will totally do that. I just wanted to do something different to close out the year. I have more reactions to come very soon. I'm waiting to react to some of EXO's live performances from the Obsession album. I know some of them are already out. I'm just hoping that I can find a version that's clear and I can focus on the full stage the entire time because that's really what I want to see. Fingers crossed. I have no idea if that will happen. I hope so. I hope I can get some good footage because there are several performances I really want to react to, especially Jekyll. Yeah, I think that's the one that I... All of them, but that one really. That song is... I think it's my favorite. Mm. It's it's right up there. I, I It's... 
it's right up there, right at the top. It's one of my absolute favorites on the album. I still have it picked the top one for me. I don't think I can really choose my absolute favorite on the album, but that one is one of them. All right, guys, I'm going to close this out. It is New Year's Eve, and I need to get ready for the new year. If you have any suggestions on videos you want me to react to in 2020, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my footage, and I'll see y'all next year. Bye!